Hey, problem solvers, Colfax Math here. Today I'm going to go over multiplication tables. I know it's kind of embarrassing for a lot of folks, but they've done a lot of research with people who've had trouble getting back into mathematics, especially entry level algebra. The number one issue is they have not memorized the multiplication tables. So I'm going to do this as quickly as I can uh, and show you a bunch of super easy tricks. It is just rote memorization. You got to just memorize the facts and it's intimidating because there's a hundred facts you have to memorize. But once I break it down, it's going to work out to only be a few facts you're really going to have to work out. So if you've had trouble with the multiplication table, go back, watch this video, maybe listen to it while you're doing something and make sure you get your multiplication table down. You just got to have these facts memorized. And then when you get into early high school math, a lot of pieces will come together that maybe never came together before. So let me put the camera over my shoulder and we'll get started. All right, here's your multiplication tables, one through 10 times one through 10. I'd print this out and work with this. Um, I could put a link to it or you could just find it anywhere or even better, create it yourself. So to start with, one times anything is itself. So you got this column figured out. One times anything is itself. So you that have that column figured out. So now all of a sudden from a hundred multiplication facts, you've already knocked out um, 19 of them. So you're going down quickly. Then your twos, twos are easy because you just double the number. Two times one is two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Or multiplication is commutative. So one times two is the same as one times no, sorry, one times two is the same thing as two times one. So now I could count by twos and that'll get that whole column and that whole row. So now I've already taken it down just to 49 terms. The next ones that are easy to do and you should count out are fives. Five times anything, it's easy to count by five. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So those are your fives. And the fives this way, again, is commutative as well. So now we're starting to knock out a lot of these. Then the next ones that are really easy are the tens. One times 10, you just put a zero on there. So two times 10 is 20, 30, 40, 50. So that's this whole column. And then this whole row. So now we really don't have that many left. Now we have our threes. So three times three is nine, plus three is 12, plus three is 15, plus three is 18, plus three is 21, 24, 27, and then to 30. So I just work on adding threes and make sure you could count by threes and just do that every day. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. Then same thing with fours. Fours aren't too bad either because you could add four in your head pretty quick. So just count by fours. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40. Just keep counting by threes and by fours every day until you have all those memorized. Threes and fours this way are gonna be the same as threes and fours that way. So now we have our ones, twos, threes, and fours. We have our fives by counting by five and our 10. So that's gonna just leave us with this little block right here. So that's only 16 memorization facts. So first you wanna be able to count by threes and then really work on those multiplications. Three times six, 18. Then do your fours, know your fives and your tens. And then that only leaves you with your six, seven, eight, and nine, six, seven, eight, and nine. So it's this little square here. So once you narrow it down to these 16 multiplication facts, then work on your squares, meaning the number times itself. So six times six is 36. Seven times seven is 49. Eight times eight, 64. Nine times nine, 81. So you've taken these 16 multiplication facts, and you've just knocked out four of them, so now you're left with 12. And then, we, again, multiplication is commutative. So seven times six, 42, is the same as six times seven, 42. So that means you really only need to get these six down. And you just gotta listen to them again and again and say them again and again uh, every day for a few weeks. It shouldn't take long, but it's just rote memorization and then the future 
math classes will go really well. So say I'm right before I say I'm six times six, 36. Six times seven, 42. Six times eight, 48. Six times nine, 54. Seven times eight, 56. Seven times nine, 63. Finishing up this column here, these are gonna be the same, right? Six times seven and six times seven. Eight times six, six times eight. Eight times seven, seven times eight. Nine times seven, seven times nine. Nine times eight, eight times nine. So once you get those facts down, um, you gotta just keep practicing them. Good way to do it is also just take a blank table and fill it in and make sure you know you do this. It shouldn't really take very long. And just fill in that table and do that every day, but you gotta have the repetition. So I hope this helped. If you're having trouble with your multiplication tables, maybe throw out in the comments why you're still having trouble with it. Um, there's really no way to do it except for to memorize them and breaking it down into smaller and smaller pieces and then just sticking with, you know, these few facts right here, these 16 facts is usually where people get stuck. Do them every day for a few minutes. Once you get your multiplication table, a lot of the other math um, that you might have had trouble with will start coming together. I'll just give you an example. You know, if you're trying to learn algebra and you have a function like x squared um, minus 25 equals zero and they're asking you to solve that, well, it's really hard to factor a number like that unless you know the factors of 25, right? So that's why they say your multiplication tables are so essential to future math classes. So, all right, well, I sure hoped that helped. Uh, if it did, hit the like comment. I'd like to hear your comments below. Hit the like button, and I appreciate you watching.